Hey YouTubers! Welcome back to Southwest Desert Farming. I'm Michael and Stacy's inside. Anyways, uh wanted to share something with you. This will be the first in a series of pistachio farming slash harvesting. I wanted to get this in now. This is actually the first week in August and it's turning out that the pistachio harvest is a little early and what I'm finding out is our two favorite trees the biggest ones on the property female wise are usually a telltale sign of when everything's ready let me turn you around we find that the pistachios here they turn a pink color or on the other side they're yellow and if you noticed they kind of just fall off in my fingers let me show you here you just kind of mess with it and see how it pops off there and we have a whole bunch of them here and we did notice from the last few storms we've had that we lost a bunch and if you see under here it's kind of hard to see with the shadow and everything on video but that's about a third of a bucket we do it by hand. Use a, my, my favorite method is the old coffee can because I could hold on to it. And right now with these big trees, if he, let's see if you can, let me show you the side. That's the trunk here. And you can see most of the branches are about eye level hanging down. But you notice these. <laughs> Makes it a little difficult. Anyways, I'll get some more film in here shortly of the rest of the harvest. But that's uh, the beginning part of the harvest season. And I'll show you more later. As you can see from that snippet, we do it by hand. If you research it, most of the pistachio farmers, they have a machine that shakes the tree and actually catches all the pistachios as they fall. And that goes into a hopper and into a wagon thing and they take them to do the, their stuff. Let me show you what we got here. This is our setup, kind of started a little bit differently when we first started doing this we did it by hand which meant we would take this we would break it open just like that the husk husk or whatever it's called would fall off and then you would have this pretty pistachio right there that's how you would do it my hands are filthy because they the sap on the trees is Gr tremendous anyways that's what how we started doing it um, then we ended up coming up with this setup this is a nut cracker type thing uh, we pour the nuts in here like this we crank it and as they come out as you can see some of them will actually pop right out some will end up like this. As you can see, it's kind of open. Uh, and we have this whole process here. And we separate them, then we dry them. This one ends up ended up being closed, which is still a good pistachio. A little difficult to crack open, but yes, they do crack open. And as you can see, there's a nice pistachio in there.
there you have it we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up uh have a lot of snippets together and look who's here <laughs> she is actually busting butt doing some more pistachios uh, it'll be a good process picking some cleaning some drying some cooking some and then eating some <laughs> anyways thank you all for visiting southwest desert farming we'll uh keep you posted as things new come up and uh, we'll see you next time